Things are winding down here at the end of the first day of practice on Beaver Lake, and uh, it's a little windy. The sun's starting to pop out. Not a bad end of the day, but uh, the biggest thing, that watercolor, man, way different than it was last year, right? Yeah, I, I came down here yesterday. Uh, me and my dad was going to go out here and get a burger at the restaurant, and I about puked when I looked <laughs> at the water. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah, it's it's dirty. It's and it's dirty way down. I mean, you got to go down to Starkey almost before it clears. Oh wow, up. yeah. So blew my plan right out of the water. And it may have been a little early anyway. Obviously, I was going to try to sight fish them like I did last year. Sure. And it it might have been a little bit too cold for that anyway. I, I don't know. We're going to get some warm weather, so it, you might have could have ended up sight fishing them. Still might be able to, you know, down by the dam, but I. I've never caught any good ones down there, so right. I think that's just ruled out. Okay. Um, for me, anyway. Well, like you said, uh, last year, you know, Tracy Adams, you rode um, sight fishing to a second place finish. But last year, I mean, granted, the water was a lot cleaner too, uh, but we had we saw pre-spawn fish, we saw post-spawn fish, and a good majority of them spawning. Right. Uh, you're only one day in, but what's it look like right now? I think it's probably kind of the same. I mean, I, I don't really know about the spawn, but they're kind of sure. doing everything. I mean, we caught some fish today. Uh, or what's the water temp? 56 to, well, 55 to about 58, almost 58 okay. a little while ago okay. was the warmest I saw. So 55, 56 for the most part. But they seem to be doing a little bit of everything. I mean, we caught some out deeper, even in that dirty water, oh, wow. and then we caught some right up on the bank. So, I mean, it's it's not as well. You know, it, it's not like I normally do it here, even right. if I'm not. I mean, you know, you kind of had to do it a little different, a little more power, bigger baits, and and you don't get as many bites here by doing that. And I've had success here over the past, just weeding through them. You know, catching a bunch of fish and. At the end of the day, you'll have five sure. decent ones, and you, you can't eat. You, you know the baits you got to throw now to catch. You're not going to catch a bunch. You, you got to try to catch the big ones first. Now, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I, I was kind of curious before we started this. How uh, how many times have you been to Beaver? What how how much experience do you right, have? I've been here a lot. Oh. And so you've seen it before yeah, when it's yeah, been like this. Yeah, I have, but only a couple times. I don't think it gets like this. No, not too often. often. Uh, yeah, we were here probably. I don't know. 05, 06, 07, somewhere in there, and it was muddy like this. But but the difference then, it was high. Oh, sure. So you had all these bushes and everything. You know, you had a lot more targets to, to throw your spinnerbait or whatever you're throwing at. So, you know, now it's it's muddy, but it's low, so that kind of stinks a little bit. <laughs> but, well, it's not really low. I think it's normal, but, yeah. you know, it's not around the bushes. You don't have all that, you know, all them targets to throw at. But it's going to be all right. I mean, there's gonna, still going to be a lot of fish caught, no doubt. They're, oh, yeah. They're yeah, that's Beaver Lake. You know, they're biting. Uh, just not biting maybe the way I want to, but they're biting. <laughs> Well, you still got a couple more days to yeah. figure them out. Uh, before I let you go, uh, how much water did you cover today? Um, you know, from Prairie Creek here. Pretty good bit. I mean, I rode down almost to the dam just because I wanted to see how far you had to go down before sure. it cleared up. And and we caught, I don't know, four or five down there in the clear water, but they were no good. So a couple little smallmouth and a couple keeper spots. So we bailed on that pretty quick. And got back up here, and you know, we caught. I don't know, I think three or four decent ones. Okay. You know, two and a half, three pounders, no big ones, but you know, we caught some decent ones. So something to build on for the next two days and see what happens. Well, now that you're over your shock of seeing the water now, yeah. you can kind of get settled <laughs> in and you got a couple more days to figure them out. Yeah, it took me about a day to get over it. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck, Tracy. All right, thanks. It's the wee hours here of day one and we found us uh, Mark Daniels Jr. getting off the water late. Uh, Mark, it was kind of, I mean, the wind, it actually laid off now yeah but all day it was whipping yeah. um how'd that make things in terms of fishing wise um you know it kind of steered things up a little bit which on beaver lake can be, actually be a good thing mm -hmm. you know get the, get the bait fish moving around um you know those fish that live in that clear water situation you know they're a lot more easy to trigger strikes when that when that wind's blowing like that um but you know man it's 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 a different beaver lake than what i've seen in the last two years man um you know a lot of staying water is now down i would say three quarters of the lake and you got to get all the way back to the dam pretty much right at the dam to start seeing some real good clarity okay um and but so, you can find some some clear normal beaver type water yeah i'm gonna call it clearer okay you know okay. yeah but i mean there, there's a pretty decent stain on the majority of the lake right now did you uh did you go up the river at all today I did not. No, that's going to okay. be tomorrow's deal. Um, I stayed from Prairie Creek, just shy of the dam. Okay. And so I saw a good mixture of the lake, 
Um, but like, again, a, a large majority of that's really stained. Now, normally beaver is a place that, uh, you know, getting bites is not really a big deal. You know, you yeah. can catch a lot of fish, but size kind of starts to be the factor. Now we've seen the average size go up over the past couple of years. We've seen sure. a little better weights. Sure. Um, from your practice today, what well, was it a lot of shorter fish? Uh, did you were you not sticking some of them? I mean, yeah, how did you know, how did it pan I, out um, for you? I caught quite a few actually today, just to kind of get an idea what kind of size was out there, species. You know, that's a mm -hmm. big deal here. Um, and and for me, I, I had a really tough day on my first day. I caught probably nine or ten fish. I um, only had about three keepers in that. Wow. And a lot of shorts. You know, and beavers. You know, famous for that fourteen and seven eighth large mouth <laughs> yeah, or small yep. mouth. Um, you know, that weighs two, two and a quarter, that you could really use that fish, but he doesn't quite make it. And so a couple right, of those, they gotta be 15. In, they gotta be 15. Yep. We won't talk about measuring fish. <laughs> no, we right won't. Now. We won't yeah. go in that, we won't, down we won't that go road. In there, but, <laughs> but yeah, there were some of those mixed in as well, so. Okay, uh, in terms of where the fish are at, you know, last year, um, you know, it was pre-spawn, post-spawn, a lot of fish spawning. Obviously, water's a lot dirtier, yep. be harder to see them. Sure. Um, but just in what you saw today, are they leaning one way or other on that spectrum? I think there's a good mix again, uh, with the exception of post spawn. I don't think there are many post spawn bass okay. right now, but there are certainly quite a few fish in that pre spawn stage. There's some fish actually spawning. I spotted a couple on beds today, um, you know, but not a lot. There weren't a ton of them up. I would say the majority is probably still in pre spawn, which is which should be good for fishing. Sure. Uh, final thing for you, in terms of the Beaver Lake we're seeing now, this this dirty water. Um, do you like it more than, than normal? You know, I'm gonna say yeah, just because I, not, I, I like fish in stained water. It allows you to get closer up on them. You know, you can, you can fish, you can power fish a little bit more, mm -hmm. pull off the flip and stick, the big spinner baits, things like that. I think you're gonna see some bigger bass caught due to that because now you're able to fish areas that always had that population of largemouth that had some size on them, mm -hmm. but it was always so clear and they were really skittish. Right. But now you can get up on them and fish them. So I think that's gonna, I think that's gonna work out for the better overall. I like interesting perspective from yep. Mark Daniels. He's going to go find him a bunch of fish that are over 15 inches That's right. in the next couple of days. That's right. Thanks, Mark. Uh, thank you. <laughs> All right, folks, we're closing out the night with uh, Luke Duncan, last year's co-angler champion here at Beaver Lake. Uh, Luke, I, I guess, first of all, I understand you enjoyed some basketball uh, the other night. You got maybe a little bit of a late start uh, to I proceedings, did. but you stayed, it, you stayed the course to the end I of the did. day. I did. Um, what? What was your strategy uh, to in this just general practice period here at Beaver Lake? Well, basically with all this crazy weather we've had throughout the southeast since, say, December, I wanted to see watercolor. Uh, I, I work out in this region a lot for TH. I, yeah. I call a lot of customers out here, so all I've heard is, man, Beaver's dirtier than it's ever been since, <laughs> you know, December. And I'm going, what, you know, what's it going to look like? So I wanted to see water level, water temperature, you know, water color, kind of figure out what phase the fish are in because, you know, almost a month ago we we're at Hartwell and we're looking at them yeah. everywhere and you're thinking everything's progressing so much further uh, than normal this spring that it's going to be a sight fish deal here. But you haven't found that to be the case? Today, Maybe. no, I think we're a little bit behind. So I think it's going to be more of a pre-spawn thing right now, as it stands right now. It, could, okay. could change before the tournament's over. Yeah, and I, from what I can tell, the weather's not really supposed to bring any dramatic warm-up. It's supposed to be no. maybe even a little dangerous tomorrow. Uh, but, you know, it, it seems like we might be on a pre-spawn Beaver Lake course. Um, I guess, how does that suit you? I, I like it. Uh, I like what I found today. Uh, hoping to expand on it tomorrow. And I think when they get on the beds here, uh, just from last year and then keeping up with this place in the past, I mean, I, I know it gets harder when they get on the beds. And I, yeah. I'm a sight fishing nut. I would love to do that. But if I can catch them going down the bank and find a few sacked up in a couple little places, your odds are a lot better at catching numbers that way, uh, right. in my opinion, hopefully culling up to, to a good bag. Uh, in your opinion, oh, pre-spawn on Beaver Lake, is it a, a pattern type situation where you run a number of areas that are similar or are you, do you need to hunker down in a couple of spots where fish have sort of stacked up? What, what are you looking I, for? I think this, this lake is such a great pattern lake. Uh, I've heard Matt Airy say that several times. about yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It, it he would a, know. Uh, he should know yeah. very, very well, but it is a pattern lake. So you get on a little deal and, and today the, the few bites I got, you know, 
once it starts kind of clicking, you can run around and, and do the same thing, kind of duplicate it. So hopefully that carries into to Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Hopefully. Okay. Well, hopefully. you're always a real a real cheery guy, but you do seem real cheery right now, and I like that. Now, well, um, I, I won't. Uh, I, I like this place. A lot of good memories. It kind of sure. it, it kind of kicked things off for me uh, big time to to get to the front of the boat. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to do it without that win. I don't think. Yeah. You know, it gave you the confidence to kind of stay with it. So. Uh, this will always be special. I could finish dead last this week. This place will always still be special. Like and I'm still smiling because we go to Pickwick next, and that's in my backyard. So I get deal. to sleep in my own bed and fish an FLW tournament. So All right. Things uh, are good right now. So uh, from what you've seen out there, from what you've had all your people telling you, oh, it's dirty, we got to get ready for this, what do you think we're going to see weight-wise this week? Because Beaver Lake has been getting better every single that's year. That's right. It has. I think that... Uh, it could take 17 a day to no win it. kidding. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, a lot of the local tournaments this spring, no A-rig tournaments, some team tournaments that have been no out kidding. here that some friends of mine have, have fished in the area, you know, they're they're stacking 15 pounds in the in the top 10 just to get a check you know 19 right. and 20 are winning a lot of those that's that's a that's stout that's stout for beaver lake yeah. so you know it wouldn't surprise me 16 17 a day you know all right well i tell it's you it's still beaver yeah it's still beaver but it's with the color in the water i think the fish will feel a little more comfortable uh maybe hold up to the pressure a little bit better than normal we'll, we'll see We'll see. All right. Well, I tell you what, I would, uh, for one, I'd love to see that. I really hope, guys. Oh, it would be I awesome. I hope you guys wreck them this week. And, uh, two, I, I hope you do. I hope I, you figure I them out. So. And I hope I man, do, too. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it, Jody. Thank you.